Tech, I guess is what it's called. And then you know the one for Paul Walker from uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. And then we have this one here, the Nismo Edition. And then inside, I have one more here. It's some sort of wide body one. I think it's from a Need for Speed game, but I could be wrong. If not, the paint job certainly is. But uh, <laughs> those aren't the ones we're going to be working on today. The ones that I'm going to be working on is in the back. Well, the one rather. It's over here. Looks a little filthy. And you can probably tell from on top what it is. It's the uh, police version of the car. And if you look closely, you can see that everything is almost done other than we got no engines. So I got the car pretty much uh, as complete as I could. It's back here right now so I can clean out the inside as well as clean the car up itself. So we're going to mostly be doing body work today in this video on this car. Um, three of the cars have souped up motors, this one included. There's two others out there that do as well. And uh, those are the three cars I'm going to end up keeping. I had six originally, and I bought one as a flip car, which it's that, um, oh, I'll, that'll give it away. It's one of those that's out there. And then I bought another one that actually was a clone of the um, Fast and Furious one out there. So I ended up selling that one right away, which I'm glad I could because I was pretty broke when it was all said and done. So it ended up being a flip car in itself, so it was nice to have that. But, um, yeah, one of these cars, well, let's see, actually two of these cars that remain will not be here when it's all said and done. Is that part of the, oh, that is part of the body. Okay, cool. Um, like I said, most of the mechanical work is done on the cars already. It's just uh, body work on this one. In fact, let me put the motor in it right now. There's no motor in it, but I do have the motor. It's completed. There we go. And it has all the performance parts in it as well. So it's completely souped up. Take this windshield. Uh, let's get the interior in here while we're at it. So I do apologize if this is a little bit of a shorter episode because, like I said, the, a good chunk of this car is already done. And I just wanted to showcase this part of the mod because... I mean, as we know, I have a lot of LEO content on my channel, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to do an LEO skyline. And the uh, the uh, creator of the mod does have the uh, Japan LEO livery as well, so I'm definitely going to slap that on there to get the... Oh, damn it! <laughs> I ended up breaking something. But to get the uh, full effect here... I'm not going to be doing anything as far as a uh, body panel changing is concerned. I'm going to leave it just stock, just because... I want it to resemble the actual LEO car. So let's go ahead and get the transmission in there. I have to do this because that was not on, or the motor wasn't in, rather. And I think I just need, yeah, just a drive shaft. I did forget to buy the plates now that I'm thinking back on it, but it's fine. I still have to buy all the body paneling, too, that I don't have. So, yeah, I, uh, I had about three or four hundred thousand dollars before when I first started working on this mod and I became broke very fast uh, putting the skylines together because none of them were fixed uh, other than the gray one that's outside that was a uh, auction car I wasn't sure if I had that version of it or not I, there are so many different versions with the mod that I just I gave up on trying to remember which one was which so I was like okay I don't think I have that one so I ended up buying it and uh, it was in pretty good shape, so it, most of its parts went to one of the flip cars, and then, of course, everything else I had to buy enough for five cars. So I've been working for a good three or four hours on uh, getting this recording ready for, uh, for this video. Uh, body's at 1%. Okay. And what do I have? I have the quarter panels, the passenger door, front bumper, and a tail light. Okay. So, whoops. Go to assemble. Get that. Oh no, rear quarters. My passenger. Oh, cool! It already did have the the uh, paint job on it. So that's the paint job that I was mentioning earlier, and that's just under the hood. So, all right, shopping list. Add to list. The hood on these things is very interesting. So I'm hoping that. Uh, using this mod, it'll kind of 
help me understand more what that is on the hood. I know it's an LEO thing, but I'm not sure if it's a light bar or what. But it's pretty cool that uh, Japan, I believe it's Japan, has a Nissan Skyline R34 as a uh, police car. Or they used to anyways. I don't know if they do anymore or not. Oh, let's uh, go over here and start buying some of these parts. Yeah, Tokyo Police. Okay, so it is Tokyo. So I don't think Han was right when they said that if you can go X amount of kilometers an hour, the police don't even try. I think if the police had one of these, they uh, wouldn't mind keeping up with his... Uh, How's that he was driving? I think it's an NSX. Could be wrong. Fully forgetting the car he was driving. And I should know that too, being a fan of the movies. As cheesy as the acting is and whatnot, and the stories are all over the place, I do enjoy the movies very much. It's for the entertainment value. I got the headlights. I worked my way down this side, so it's about where I'll probably run out of parts that I have. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Get the exhaust. Looks like it has a stock exhaust on the mod. That's cool though. Don't care. Don't matter to me. Alright. And, yep, it is the stock one. The stock wing. I like the stock wing on these things. It looks so clean. And it has a functioning purpose too because it's there from the manufacturer. They built it for the car. There we go. Oh, I forgot that one. Thought I had it already. Guess not. All right, put the fender on. Let's get this wing exhaust and need to buy this. There we go. All right, and let's open the hood. There's a cover for it as well, so you have RB26 covers. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I don't know about the wrinkled red color, but I could dig it, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and buy the plates for it. Uh, typical California. We'll put SC as my typical one. We'll do LEO. That's a Q. LEO. The, yep, that'll fit. Or, no, it won't fit. Not like that. I have to squeeze it all together. And when it makes sense without it, R34. There we go. Two of those. Should hopefully be everything that the car needs in the shop here. Oh, I forgot something. What did I forget? Car part four. What is car part four? Um, what is car part? Oh, here it is right here. I forgot. Badging is part of it. Now it should be 100%. Yep, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and move it into the test path here. And we'll get its headlights aligned. This one's not too bad. I don't know what it is, if it's just the mod or just my luck, but most of them, the headlights were in pretty close uh, proximity of where they needed to be. So this, on the other hand, has been all over the place. I had one of them that was pretty close, and then the rest were just in the red constantly. There we go. And save. And let's get it over in the paint booth so it's ready to be a cop car again. Let's see. Paint, yep, factory color is fine. And then you guys will get to see some of the other paint jobs in here. There's the one that's in the shop. There's that one from Too Fast, Too Furious. There's another race car right here. I think I know that car. I think this is supposed to be the purple that is rare for the uh, R34. I forget what it's called. And then there's the, I think that was the Grant. Um, Gran Turismo car, but there's the one we want. 
And then there's the last paint job, I think. Yeah, which is what I have on the gray one out there. It looks pretty good on the black, but I'm going to Elio on this one. Bummer, the lights don't work, but they're just part of the chassis. They're not part of the, um, they're not a part, so that makes sense. All right, we're going to move this out here, and then we're going to move it to this location here and throw the uh, stock one uh, in the shop there. So we're going to go ahead and start it up, make sure it runs. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so we got these done. We'll go take one on a top speed run to see how it does, but... For some comparison, this car has 309 horsepower. This one is, I think, the highest one at 502. Yep. And then this one, I want to say, is the lowest one. It's, yeah, 287. It's still pretty good, though. And uh, to reveal it, uh, none of these cars are the ones that are getting sold. So I said I was keeping three. These are the three. I was going to keep the LEL one for sure. I have a Paul Walker Escort, so the Skyline to go with it would be pretty cool. And this one, if I could ever own an R34, I doubt I ever will. If I get lucky one day, it'd be great, but I doubt it. Either way, if I could and I would, this would be the color I would want is this gray right here. And with the Nismo stickering on it, it looks even better. So we're gonna go in here. Unfortunately, the all stock car here and the, I think it's a Need for Speed car are going to be the ones that are getting sold today. So, for starters here, this one, I found it in the junkyard. This was the car I was going to flip to have money to repair the other ones, but I got lucky and I came across another flip car. Actually, two. Uh, I paid 9893 for it. After all the parts and stuff, I'm going to make $111,000 on it for selling it at $120,000. So let me go ahead and let that go. And here's the next car I'm going to sell. So this is the V-Spec 2 Eddy Skyline. I'm assuming, like I said, it's from like a Need for Speed game or something like that. Found this one in the junkyard as well. Uh, bought it for $12,370 with all the parts on it. I'm going to make $125,000 on it. Uh, it's going to sell for just over $138,000. So along to that car as well. I'm going to save my game just in case it freezes. I had the game freeze twice on me because I had so many cars and so many parts in my inventory trying to uh, <laughs> trying to buy enough parts for six cars. <clears throat> so this is one of the cars I'm going to keep. This one, again, is my favorite one. <clears throat> again, I won this one at an auction. So I paid $78.8 for it. I, uh, with all the parts that I would put into it, I would make a profit of $88.615 for selling it at $167. But we're going to be keeping that one today. Here's another one here. This is the Paul Walker one. I bought this one at an auction as well. I paid eleven zero zero four for it, so it must have been a junkyard art auction. With all the parts, I would make $141,000 in profit. And I could sell it for $152,600. And finally, the LEO one. This one here I found in the junkyard. I paid 10537 for it with all the mods and parts that I put on it. I would make 135135 in profit. That's funny, 135135 And selling it at 145672 So even though this is the faster car, and even though I like that the headlight's got an issue if you're over here, it's like twinkling at you. It's interesting. But even though I like this car and it's my favorite, and even though this is the fastest car, this is the car we're going to go take at the uh, drag race here. But first, before we do that, I haven't tuned any of the cars. I just souped them up, so I'm going to actually soup up this one. We're going to throw a seventh gear at it just because. I, it's ridiculous, I know, but we're doing it. So, factory power, 309. Let's see uh, what we can do here with uh, all the performance parts thrown at this thing. Oh, 
276 horsepower. It's got a 167 horsepower gain of 54%. That's kind of interesting. Okay. It kind of was weird that it didn't go all the way to the end of the chart. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to get into it. I meant to move it. It's kind of strange that it didn't get to the end of the dyno chart. I don't know if I should be worried about that or not, but I'm going to go ahead and take it to the uh, speed track here. See how it does. Again, like I said in the Evo 9 video, there was a Drag Race DLC that released recently. I haven't looked into it as much as I want to yet to see uh, what kind of... So we're going to back up here to try to get as much speed as we can. To, I haven't looked into it as much to see how much uh, has changed with that edition, but I'm looking forward to it, and I'll definitely let you guys see it when I check it out. So here's our car here, and uh, it does have racing slicks, so we're going to go ahead and go. I'm glad I added that extra gear because it looks like this thing's going to rip through the gears pretty quickly. Wow. We are moving. Yep, there's the seventh gear I needed. It looks like it's starting to slow down, like it's topping out. 172 was as fast as I could get it, and it sounded like and it looked like that was the end of it. So 172, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good speed for a uh, R34 Skyline, especially for LEO, so they can. Uh, I see the headlights. Twinker, yeah, I guess you could say those are wigwags on this one. But, uh, yeah, that's not bad numbers for a, uh, a police car. Man, this thing grips, too, with these slick tires on it. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought and what you guys think of R34 Skylines because they're freaking amazing. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care.